in this question three semi circles are given as shown and we have and we have got cd is perpendicular to ab and length 10 cm using this data we have to find the area of shaded region so in this question ac is the diameter of smaller circle let's assume this length is a unit and bc is diameter of bigger circle let's assume this is b unit and diameter of the biggest circle that's ab that will be a plus b unit so for bigger circle let's assume the center is lying somewhere here and this center is o this is the center of the bigger circle so let's join the length do so here we have got a right angle triangle is there and we'll use pythagoras theorem to solve the right angle triangle and for that we'll have to do some calculation to find the remaining two lengths that is co and do now do is nothing but radius of bigger circle so do is half of length ab and do is a plus b by 2 so we have got this length as a plus b by 2 now co we have to find the length co so co is nothing but bc minus bo bc bc is b units we have assumed and bo is radius of bigger circle which is a plus b by 2 we have just calculated a plus b by 2 solving it the length co that we are getting is b minus a by 2 so this co is coming as b minus a by 2 we'll solve this question in two ways so this is first way by pythagoras theorem second way we'll see it's a little faster and uh, we'll use uh, chord intersecting theorem in that so let's solve it here first so now we have got the three sides and let's find the use the pythagoras theorem and see what result we are getting here so using pythagoras theorem we know hypotenuse square so we'll say in triangle dco hypotenuse square that's do square is equals to dc square plus co square now do square is a plus b by 2 whole square this is b minus a by 2 whole square plus 10 square okay so this dc is actually 10 so this is 10 square plus co is b minus a by 2 whole square now on simplifying it you will get the result that ab ab is equals to 100 units right both the side a square and b square will get cancelled down and remaining unit left out is a into b now how to use this so let's see what is shaded region first right this is our observation number one okay so if we talk about shaded region shaded region is area of the biggest semicircle area of biggest semicircle is half pi into r square and radius of biggest semicircle is a plus b by 2 and we'll subtract the area of first semicircle and second semicircle now for this semicircle the radius is a by 2 and b by 2 so half of pi a by 2 square minus half of pi b by 2 square now in this we'll take half and pi common so we are left with half pi and inside we are getting is by 4 also we are taking common from the square inside we are getting is a square plus b square plus 2ab minus a square minus b square so we'll simplify it on simplifying we are getting the area as pi times of 2 and 2 are getting cancelled down here so pi times of ab upon 4 and this value of ab which we have calculated here 
So this value we can put down to get our answer as pi times of 100 by 4 or 25 pi centimeter square. That's the area of shaded region. Now, can we do it in some other way? Yes, of course. So here we have got that the area of shaded region is pi times of a into b by 4. We have to just find the value of a into b. So in the first case, we have found it by using forming a triangle DCO. In the second way, what we are doing is we are completing the semicircles into circles, right? So this is the figure what we'll get. So semicircles we have extended to complete them as circles. And here the AC, AC is your A and BC is your length B. And by symmetricity, if we'll extend this line, this line will be like this. Okay, so this is your C, this is your D, and this will also be 10 centimeter. So if we'll apply intersecting code theorem, intersecting code theorem. So if the two codes are intersecting each other, then the product of corresponding lengths are equal. So AC into BC. Okay, this C is already there. So let's assume this point as E. So AC into BC is EC into DC. Now AC is A, BC is B, EC, EC is your 10 and DC is 10. So we are getting this A into B is 100 and area of shaded region that we have calculated earlier. So this is area of shaded region. So you will say, we'll put the value of this A into B above. So area of shaded region is pi times of A into B by 4 or 25 pi centimeter square. So it's an interesting question. So whereby first solution, we have solved it by forming a triangle. And in the second solution, we have solved it by using intersecting curve theorem. I hope you enjoyed the solution. We'll see you in next video. Till then, tata, bye bye.